Our online bidding platform at live.orgo.com allows you to bid by means of a live webcast auction or a timed online auction via a mobile and tablet based app, as well as a web bidding solution using your laptop or PC. At Orco, we offer timed online auctions, live auctions with webcast bidding, as well as exclusive live auctions. Let us return to the auctions button and have a look at the upcoming sales. You will note that there are timed auctions and live auctions. As live.orco.com is our online bidding platform, it's important to note where it states live auction. This refers to a live auction with webcast bidding. Let's take a moment to distinguish between a timed online auction and a live auction with webcast bidding. Pre-live bidding as a precursor to live auction with webcast bidding. The auction is open for online bidders approximately 24 hours prior to the start of the live auction. In this way, online bidders can place bids on the lots they are interested in, extending the bidding experience and providing an alternative for any buyer who may not be available at the specific time of the auction. Here you can choose to place what is known as a max bid or just make one incremental bid. The max bid functionality provides the buyer with an option to place a bid of any amount they wish. This max bid amount will not be visible to the public. Should you be outbid at your current bid value, the system will automatically bid on your behalf until your max bid amount is reached. When you have been outbid on your max bid amount, a push notification will be sent to your app, notifying you that you need to join the auction if you still want to place another bid. Your current bid will reflect on the front end as a winning bid on the next increment, but on the back end, your max bid amount will still appear. Once the auction goes live, the pre-bidding function is replaced by live bidding and you will be required to join the auction in order to place your bids when the clerk enters the asking price for each lot. Pre-live bidding will be functional until such time as the actual lot becomes live. Live with webcast. A live auction with webcast bidding starts in real time with an auctioneer on the floor and there are physical lots in the auctioneer's site. The auctioneer is accompanied by a bidding clerk or bid tracker who webcasts the auction to the online bidding platform. There is the following options on your screen. Live auction in progress, tap to join. Once you join the auction, live audio will be broadcast to either your mobile device or computer enabling you to hear the auctioneer and bid increments, and you can follow this on your device's screen. The bid increments, time spent on the lot before it closes and actual fall of the hammer are controlled by the auctioneer, accurately depicting the live auction experience for all online participants. Online bids are recognized by the clerk on his or her screen and then relayed to the auctioneer by either an audible ping or by the bidding clerk calling out the bid. The auctioneer will recognize the online bid and move on to the next increment, asking for or recording any improvement in this bid, whether it be a live floor bid or an online bid. The new asking price is entered via the app and the online bidder needs to slide and confirm their bid. Timed Online Auction With a timed online auction, you may bid from the time the auction starts or opens until the auction ends or closes. There is no live interaction and the bids are determined exclusively by the online bidders. During a timed online auction, the seller may request the use of a starting bid at a certain amount and or the option to set a reserve price for all or some lots. Bidding increments can also be preset and you will note that you can only increase your bid by a certain amount, known as the increment. Please note that the max bid functionality, as explained at the beginning of this tutorial, is also available for your use during a timed online auction. A lot is awarded during a timed online auction to the highest bidder once the preset date and time has expired.